Hello everyone, welcome to Bees Battlegrounds. I'm Bobby B, and today we'll be looking at the G.I. Joe Classified series, number 109. That's right, we broke 100, folks. Parth Wolf Spider Varma. Now, Parth Wolf Spider Varma appeared last week or so. Um, my friend Brett found him on a, a local shop overseas online. He's like, hey, do you know anything about this guy? I was like, nobody knows anything about that guy. And then I was like, do you care if I share the pictures? I shared the pictures, and then everybody else uh, ran with them from there. So, uh... Yep, Hasbro hasn't even dropped this guy yet, but clearly he's in production. He's ready to go. Um, he's Night Force, so I'm guessing I'm gonna, he's going to be a Walmart exclusive. we got the Walmart Collector Con coming up in the fall, so we'll see. But we'll dive into the plastic-free packaging here. Pla plastic-free packaging, Night Force logo. There you go. you got the old Wolf Spider fast roping in. He is a new character. Um, some people say he looks like Desert Fox from the... Uh, 50th anniversary stuff, but I don't, I'm all for new characters. We'll uh, we'll look at his traits here in a second. He got some other troops fast roping behind him. Looks like uh, like Cobra Temples or something. A little bit different than what we've seen for the uh, the Night Force what story arc, whatever you want to call it, with the uh, tunnels and the everything. But I guess we get some force with the Range Viper and stuff. So here's his loadout. Uh, it's uh, Lieutenant Falcon's loadout with some extra stuff. You get that artwork right there. G.I. Joe Classified series. Parth, Wolf Spider Varma. Parth Varma is his name. Wolf Spider is his code name. Y you can't mess that up, but some people have. So, number 109 in the series. There's that artwork again. G.I. Joe Classified on top. 109. All that stuff. On the back, we get a view of his helmet, view of his Wolf Spider patch on his shoulder, his loadout. His attributes, we got security, small arms, infiltration, and rescue. So he's uh, he's well-rounded. Could could he be the first uh, classified series MP we get? You guys know I'm a sucker for the MPs, so let's, let's get into his gear here. We get Falcon's backpack, repainted, recolored, little yellow. It's got the antenna. Antenna just pegs in right here. It's got a little radio waves. Peg that in. Then the antenna itself, it's uh, these like exp expand so you could unvelcro this little piece right here and this would flip up in real life. You get a black and silver knife, same one we've gotten with Lieutenant Falcon, that just sheaths right into the side of the backpack. Good to go. You get the dreaded Wave 1, Series 1 pistol, whatever you want to call it. Boring. You get Lieutenant Falcon shotgun, which is a fun shotgun. However, mine is assembled. Uh, this piece is the opposite of how Falcon's is, so it can't fold. So I might just pop it apart and work it that way. You got your portal for blast effects. No other color on the uh, the pump or anything like that. Going into the gear, we get this beautiful helmet. It's got a chin strap. It's got the radio piece. It's got some nice little yellow weathered paint on there. Green uh, Peltor's he hearing radio. And then just all around the rails on the side. You get these night vision goggles. There's some reflective green on one side. Nothing on the inside. And then a C-clip. So I'm guessing the C-clip obviously just clips over this. So we'll work that real quick. And they're functional. You're good to go. Need that splinter cell sound when he flips his nods on. And then keeping with the Night Force fashion, we get this green and black gas mask, respirator, cyborg, all-seeing eye kind of thing, and a back strap. Moving on to the wolf spider himself, we get a new head. Uh, it was I thought it was the viper, uh, not the viper, the uh, the eel at first, but I couldn't. Um, 
it just wasn't looking right. Because it's got a different, different cut for the eyes. And then I compared it to uh, the Cobra Officer and a few other masked Class 5 figures we got. And it's a new head sculpt, at least as far as I could tell. Um, the rest of it is going to be Scrap Iron's body with Beachhead's vest, uh, drop leg magazine pouches, and then drop leg holster. Which I guess would explain the Series 1 weapon. But you got your Joe Pro. You got some yellow paint here. Um, he's going to be all Night Force colors for the most part. And he looks fantastic. Definitely, uh, definitely bringing in the grit and the elite. I'm curious to what his non Night Force colors would be. Since this would be the Night Force version. Or maybe he's just a straight Night Force guy, you know? He, he likes the midnight shift. He always bids on those, those overnight shifts, those overnight missions. Sleeps during the day. But... Who knows? Let's get these this helmet and stuff on him. Alright, so I did remove the head to get the helmet on. Um, there's like a, a break in the seam here, but I'm not sure if it's just the way it's supposed to be or if I'm going to rip the, the Peltors right off. So, um, it's on. Get your nods. You have to work them a little bit to line everything up here. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, maybe I just have the helmet on wrong. Helmet looks right when it's like this. It's about where his mouth would be, right? And then we got our sideboard mask, which is kind of intimidating. Oh, there's a close-up of the patch I didn't show off. We got our cyborg-looking mask. You can't rock the helmet and the mask. I mean, maybe, maybe you could. I don't know. There'd be a lot going on with, with the head. But I'm sure, I'm sure we'll see different. Uh, Different variations of it moving forward. I just don't want to pop that piece off in case it's not supposed to disconnect and have to glue it. Alright, a little more working. We were able to line it up better. So, definitely uh, liking the spec opsness of this guy. Um, I'm all for it. Especially with the uh, the dragonfly coming. Be fast roping out of the... Uh, off the side of the dragonfly, especially with that winch, be good to go. And then since we only have uh, one, other, one other Night Force character for now, we got Shooter coming soon. We got Big Ben. There they are side by side. Definitely in the uh, their darker, subdued colors, ready to go. But how do you guys feel about Wolf Spider? Are you excited to get a new character in line? You going to be picking this guy up? You guys going to troop build him into some just Spec Ops team of Night Operatives? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, load up, grab your kits. I'll see you in the battleground.